I, I want to get to something else. And by the way, this is brought to you guys by Bet US. Shout Give out. me a player or Shout players out. you guys want to see more out of now instead of uh, worries, but just a player you want to see more out of next week. Come the uh, after the bye week when they face the. Lots uh, of go. I'll let you lead off. Here. The Dallas Cowboys. Give me a player. Uh, I, first. I feel like we all kind of have the same guy in mind, but I think specifically against the Cowboys, no Demarcus uh, Lawrence, no Micah Parsons, Jared Goff. He's gonna have a little bit more time. Play action is gonna be set up. Give me Sam Laporta. You saw him look healthier against the Seahawks. He's hitting. Jeff said it on the stream. He hit the little Euro looking like Manu Ginobili in the open field. He's a guy that I think has still been able to dominate in the pass blocking game and the run blocking game when they ask him to. So I have no concerns about him there against Dallas. I think as far as a blocker, he's going to dominate. But you look at this Dallas defense right now, they are extremely weak in the middle of that defense. I think that there's a huge way that Sam Laporta can have a bounce back game, kind of get his season started how we all expected him to. And against the Cowboys, that would be huge. So give me Sam Laporta, Clutch. great player. I want you to answer the question not with Dallas, but for the whole rest of the season. No, I, I is it still Sam Laporta hey, or is it? Does let, it me, let me finish, Boone. Let I'm finish. asking you I, the right let question. Cook. Let him cook. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. You. Dallas, Dallas will be the get right game for Sam Laporta. Right. So I understand we're talking about through the regular Thank season, but Sam Laporta, we can all agree, and as we talked about it yesterday, not even his fault. He's just been dealing with injuries, kind of banged up since training camp. Didn't do much in training camp, but he's a guy that's an All Pro level caliber player. And he hasn't had that production yet. I think against Dallas, it gets him right. Good opportunity to do so. And throughout the season, we see more of the Sam Laporta that we wanted to see coming into the year. All right. There you go, go, yeah, no, are, I mean, we, are we happy? One of my favorite things is when we have a, a question, a Klotzi who just goes on a tangent. I'm like, Klotzi, answer the question. He did, hey, to be fair, he did answer the question. I, I guess he did. We have to be more specific, I think. All right, no, he, he, no, he actually what? answered the question. You, the one play. He literally. And he I said, said Sam Laporta. Laporta. I said, one, too long, Boone? No, I no, I said <laughs> the, the, I wanted it. What my mindset was with that question, and I, I really want to know, it's not like who's going to come off the bye in versus Dallas. No, who there. needs to step up? But I want to – yeah, not even step up for – I'm talking about for the next 13 games. When you come off yeah. the bye, who started the first four weeks off and you're like, what are you doing? We need you. We need you now. That's what I was talking. And when you said Dallas, I was like, I don't care about like no, I want to I'm, win. I'm, you I'm only heard Dallas. I'm, I'm I know. Saying, who needs to step up? Who needs right, to step up? Bad. A answer Sam Laporta. Why do I think that this is actually realistic? And we need to watch the game film because I think you said one player that's going to step up in Dallas is. Um, What's going on, guys? It's Jeff Ifredi. I interrupted today's video to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, and that is BetUS. And they are offering the Crunch Time Sports community. 150% on your guys' first three deposits with promo code YouTube150. Promo code YouTube150. Head to BetUS.com. They have a ton of lines that you can get in on now, like this one that I really do like a lot. Aiden Hutchinson, two-win defensive player of the year. He comes in with the sixth best odds at plus 1,100. I'm going to go ahead and put $100 to win $1,100 and lock it in. There you go. And not just this, there's a ton of other lines, Detroit Lions related, and go check them out only on Bet US. Let's get back to the video. All right. He is. He is. Let me get my player here. Did we are we gonna no. ignore while you Lucas was talking? Booner was swagging and surfing in the background. Are we just gonna like this? Like Kirk on last night. Yeah, he was swagging. I was not I was not <laughs> dancing, I was doing right. nothing like that. All right, I don't go, dance. go ahead, Boone. my goddamn take. Hey, who needs I, to step I, up? I, I do enjoy dancing a little bit, boys. You get me going a little bit. Hey, who needs to step up in Dallas, Boone? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, this is it, guys. The second half of the season, there's you could you could actually say a couple players at this position. There's like I'll say there's a position. Josh Pascal and this edge rush group outside of Aiden Hutchinson, we need something from you. And if Brad Holmes isn't going to go out there, excuse me, I'm a little coming off of sickness. If Brad Holmes isn't going to come out and he's not going to go out there and go get an edge rusher and trade for someone, you need some guys in-house to step up. I don't care if it's Josh Pascal. I don't care if you say, Makai, we need you to go to the edge. Or, hey, we need to bring some guys up from the practice squad. I don't know. But Josh Pascal, those guys, they have to step up, man. You need you need to have an edge rush. You need to have another um, a side on the other side of Hutch because that was one of the things last year, guys, that, I, that at least for me, I had the conversation about 
was like the defensive line with this Lions is last year you had Aiden Hutchinson, you had a Leem, and then there was just no one else, and you just had no other production. And now you have DJ Reader, but then you look at it and like Levi O's producing, so you have like he can go in and out. But after that, who like who has there been? And James Houston's not it. We're doing awards. I'm going to give a James Houston an award in a little bit. It's not the award that you guys all want him to get. So, like, James Houston, no. We need someone to step up big time in that other edge spot, and we need someone to ste- like to stand out. It's a, it, the, Whoever it is, too, guys, you have a career opportunity. As simple as that. Like, if you want to turn your career around, uh, Josh Pascal, if you want to make a name for yourself in this league, step up and go out there and do it. Like, it, it's right in front of you. You know, it's it's one of those things. So he he has the opportunity. Whoever wants to step up and do it, but someone has to do it. I don't I don't care who it is. Someone do it. That's my step up player. Is well, that thirteen I'll... games, Booner. Yes. Uh, and end into the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just, just double check. Uh, I want to make okay. sure. I uh, well, actually, my player ties into what you said, Booner, and that isn't. Uh, I think the Josh one uh, or the edge position is great. The other side of Aiden. I'm going to go with Ali McNeil, and this is why. It's not that he's playing terrible. He's playing great against the run. He's always been great. My thing with him is, okay, you're looking at the other side of Hutch. It's like, okay, we need more production. We need more sacks. Well, you're looking at a guy who last year got five sacks in 13 games. You're looking at a Lee McNeil, someone who last year in 13 games had only, I guess, I mean, whether how you want to look at it, how you value pressures, but he had 13 uh, pressures in in, um, basically 13 games. So this year, I mean, according to PFF, I guess he has uh, nine pressures in four games. So he's 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 pressuring the quarterback, but he, he's and there's different kinds of pressures. I think Lomas said this. Uh, shout out to Easy, by the way, because him him and Lomas and Herman Moore they do a great job. But Lomas said not all pressures are made the same. Not all pressures are equal. And I think for Aleem, who do you need to help out Aiden? Well, you have DJ Reader, who's a walking double team. You have Aiden, who has to be double teamed. And I think Aleem McNeil. Uh, uh, going forward can be that guy. He can be someone that can get you anywhere from seven to eight sacks in a given season. So I do expect a lot of Aleem. This is a guy who's in a contract here. This is a guy that the Lions expect to, to bring back. And it's a guy that we, and including our chat and a lot of Lions fans, expect to have a, a pretty big year. Am I asking for Aiden Hutchinson production? No. But when you have a guy next to you that's doing what Aiden's doing, like Aleem's job becomes that much easier. So for him, it's just getting after the quarterback, but more specifically getting sacks. And I know Aiden always says this too. It's like sacks, how do you judge it? It's just it's just you have to be at the right place, right time. And I think they'll start to come for a lean. Um, but again, there's a difference between pressuring a quarterback and getting him on the ground, which Aiden has been doing. Like he's getting pressures, he's getting sacks, and there's gonna be times where you're facing a better quarterback and a lean might pressure him, but Dak will still step up in the pocket or escape the pocket and throw a dart. So for a lean, I, I I need more pass rush out of him in terms of getting sacks. So I'm going to go with Aleem McNeil for a player that I expect to step up. Like I know he will coming out of the bye week and moving forward. So um, that is the player for me. Hey, what's going on there? It's Jeff Iyer Freddy. Appreciate you for finishing the video. You can check out one of the videos here suggested or show support by commenting, liking, and subscribing. And buy your merchandise, officialctsports.com.